Hi, my name is Chelsea Meisinger, and I have the privilege of being a part of the upper school faculty here at WCA. I teach sixth and seventh grade Bible, as well as upper school music. And today I actually want to tell you about how I help my students develop a Christ-centered walk in my classroom. First, we start off every class with prayer. I also love to include maybe a mini devotional or even a story, maybe from my own personal life or otherwise, and uh, a quote or a verse that will then take students into not just our lesson for the day, but also more awareness over how God is working in their lives spiritually. What I love to do in those moments is to um, do what educators call modeling, and I love to model the same processes and thoughts out loud to students so that they understand what helps me get closer to God, and maybe they can apply those same skills to their lives. In my Bible classes, I have an incredible opportunity to teach those skills to my students, and I teach them uh, ways that they can pray and things that they can remember in order to guide them through personal Bible study. So rather than them reading their Bible on their own just to finish, they read it to be changed and to respond to what God is saying to them. What an honor that is, it's incredible. Another thing that I love to do, all of our students are so spiritually diverse. They come in with loads of questions. And when it's about the Bible and what's in the Bible, I let the questions flow. And that usually sparks a ton of discussion. And I get to know each and every student in my classes through those questions and discussions. Oftentimes, one student's question will spark three more around the room, and we have an incredible discussion time where we get to know each other and we get to know God. And by the end of the discussion, discussion or by the end of the class period, whichever comes first, those students have engaged spiritually and have gained an awareness of how God works and what his role is in their everyday lives. And so in my classroom, Biblical integration needs to be a part of me as well as a part of the content. It can't be forced. It has to be natural and it has to be genuine and it also has to start with me. And I am so honored to be able to do this for our students here at WCA.